Matthew, floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair, members of the committee. Uh, my name is Matthew Germer. I'm a researcher at the R Street Institute. Uh, we are a think tank focused on free markets and limited government across a variety of policy areas, including elections. Uh, I'm speaking to you today because I submitted a request to study ranked choice voting, particularly within the concept of municipal elections uh, as an interim topic. Uh, I will spare you the long background on ranked choice voting as it seems like you've become familiar with it in the recent times and uh, due to previous testimony. Uh, I will point out that in addition to what you just heard, uh, ranked choice voting does come with some additional potential benefits um, in that voters can show support for more than one candidate if that's what they prefer. Uh, they also don't have to worry about the spoiler effect if they prefer a lesser known candidate uh, and that all of this can be done while showing respect for taxpayers by avoiding additional runoffs. Uh, as was mentioned by the previous uh, testifier, Utah has implemented ranked choice voting for their local elections uh, and this has been well received by their voters. I also want to point out that there has been uh, across the country as this topic's been discussed confusion or, or worries about voter confusion. I think it's a good question. I'll note that in my research on the topic, uh, I have found that voters are not confused uh, by ranked choice voting. And that as was brought up with the poll from Utah voters, uh, an overwhelming majority said that they found ranked choice voting to be easy. Uh, Wyoming, in my understanding, is in a great place to explore this, particularly in the context of uh, the nonpartisan municipal elections in the state, um, where voters might find that multiple candidates um, are aligned with their interests, and this gives them a way to express um, support for more than one candidate. I encourage the committee to study this topic over the interim. I'm happy to serve as a resource for the committee. Uh, and with that, I thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Germer? Representative Roscoe, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Turbin. Mr. Gerber, I was just wondering if there's any connection um, for this committee to think about between um, open primaries and ranked choice voting. And I have heard that maybe they go well together. Um, one facilitates the other two a little bit, but I, I didn't understand that myself. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Grimmer, thoughts on that? Mr. Chair, uh, there is a good overlap between open primaries and ranked choice voting. It might be worthwhile for the committee to, to investigate both simultaneously. Um, particularly in the context, I know there are ideas out there of allowing for open primaries, perhaps finding the best four or five most popular candidates in an open primary, placing all of them on the general election ballot and allowing voters to decide who they like best using ranked choice voting. This is a system that was recently approved by the voters in Alaska and will be tried in the next election. Um, we don't yet have the on the ground experience to have me provide for you as a researcher how well that has been received but based upon the implementation of open primaries and ranked choice voting separately elsewhere, my expectation is that it will be well received by the voters. Okay, anything else?